Let's go for the weather Friday morning. Stevie Jacobs, where are you, champ? Benny, I am playing a robot in table tennis this morning just for something a little bit different, my friend. We are checking out the STARS oh. program this morning, and that runs right around Australia. It is designed to get young people and older people out and about, off computers, out and get them active, and it doesn't get much more active than this. They've got all sorts of sports that you can try out, including cricket, frisbee, tennis, and of course, well, the second most played game in this world, and that is table tennis. Wow, this is a great way to warm up. In the morning, we're going to talk more about this fantastic program. But right now, I'm exhausted, so let's get into the weather and see what's going on at your place. Good morning, everyone. And it is not a bad day again today. Mostly sunny for Cairns, 31. Townsville, 29 degrees. Brisbane, 26. And the Goldie, 25. A mostly sunny day in Sydney, 23 degrees. Canberra, a little early fog, then fining up to 23. Melbourne, mostly dry and 25 degrees. Hobart, we've got some showers about in the top of 20 degrees today. Into Adelaide, partly cloudy and 28. Perth, mostly sunny and 25 degrees. Alice Springs, sunny and 38. And Darwin, mostly sunny and 33 degrees. OK, we've got some possible afternoon showers on the rainfall map this morning and thunderstorms about northern inland areas of New South Wales, the southwest of Victoria and the south of Queensland. OK, 13 times Australian table tennis champion has represented Australia 280-something times. Paul Pinkowitz with us this morning. He New South Wales, the southwest of Victoria and the south of Queensland. Okay, 13 times a Thank you, Lisa. We're checking out the STARS program today. Great Aussie initiative, and it's all about getting people activated through fun. All sorts of sports that people can get involved with, and it's not about winning, it's about being part of a team, and it's about having a go. All sports are represented, including the old school brandings, which nowadays is played on a tennis court with soft, spongy balls. So go on to the old bruises, but we'll show you how it's played. Modern day. Brandings on the tennis court. You can play it for corporates, you can play it for kids, and this is what it's all about. Everyone starts at the net. On the count of three, we go back to the service line, and then it is balls on. Ready? One, two, three, go! And we are in. Now, this is a great way not only to maybe take out your boss or one of your school friends, but also for kids. This is how they discover new talent because the throwing action is oh, very similar to a tennis serve and that's how they find the tennis stars of the future whoa and and it is a good fun game carl and lisa the old school brandings and these kids have got some good pictures on them as well whoa whoa <laughs> love it more balls that looks like fun that's great. It's like a lot of energy required. <laughs> Good arm, Stevie. Good great arm. Stuff. Terrific activities this morning. Yeah. Look and I'm sure when we were his age, Stevie, we were probably playing brandings. Let's check the weather right now with Stevie. Yeah, good on you, mate. Thank you very much. It is a beautiful sunny day here this morning in Ryde, and we are checking out the STARS program. Great Aussie initiative being rolled out across the country and moving overseas as well. It's all about getting people involved in teams and in sport. Not about winning, not about losing. It's about participating, and a lot of these programs happen on tennis courts. There's so many things you can do, even frisbee golf, and we'll show you how that's played right after we take a look at the weather today. Good morning to you. Here are the main centres of STARS program. So much you can do, like frisbee golf. Now, you take the frisbee, the sign over there, well, that's the hole. If you hit it, it's a hole in one. If you get it in two, it's a birdie. You get it in three, it's a par. It's about getting active, getting involved. This is a great sport you can play anywhere. Dads, mums, kids, the whole family can get involved. And that is what this program is all about, Carl and Lisa. Hole in one. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's get some weather now with Steve Jacobs. Hey, Stevie. Good morning to you, Carlos, mate. Tennis courts can be used for so many more Yay! things than just tennis. And there's a classic catch right there. And that is being put to the challenge right around the country with, whoa, with the STARS program. That stands for 
schools, talent, area, region, state. So anyone can get involved anywhere in the country and play all sorts of sports. Oh! And you've got some of the best coaches from around Australia giving the kids a chance to get up and just have a go and participate. All right, we'll play a little bit more cricket right here after we take a look at your weather today. Good morning to a beautiful... So this fantastic program, which is, whoa, which is running right around the country, enables kids and teenagers and what they call keenagers, which is the older kids, to get out and about. We've got a few silly mid-offs this morning and it's about getting involved and having a go. And when the kids play the sports, they also put them on, whoa, Star TV, so the kids can look back and that boosts their self-esteem as well. And there are so many different sports you can play from frisbee golf to tennis to cricket and we've got a whole heap more coming your way. Oh, send a fast one down for us, Andrew. Stay tuned. We'll be back in around about another half an hour. Okay, whip one in. Come on. Give it a bit of heat, my friend. A little bit of heat. Show us what you got up <laughs> Bit of chin music, Stevie. Bit of chin music. Thank you, buddy. We'll time. Tennis courts are firing up right around the country for the STARS program. Way to go, Mitchell. Here's one of our up and comers. This program really just gets kids involved in all sorts of sports, which they start off in tennis courts. And from there, if they find a sport oh, that they absolutely love, like Mitchell has, they go on to have some of the best coaching Oh, that Australia has to offer. And that was an ace. And that's why this kid is one of our best up and comers at the moment. Talking about up-and-comers, we've got one of Australia's greatest tennis players about to have a hit right after we have a look at your weather today. Good morning. Well, we are joined this morning by one of Australia's great tennis players, coaches, and now member for Benelong, John Alexander. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? I'm very well, Steve. Now, just a few years ago, you were uh, number eight in the world at tennis, but now you've downgraded a little bit. Tell us about this uh, wonderful table tennis idea that's running around. Well, we started off the Benelong Cup for kids in the area. The good people at Hyundai gave us over $150,000 to put schools, uh, all 40 schools being furnished with table tennis tables. The kids are playing in competition this week, preparing for the Benelong Cup on the 24th and 25th of October. So we've got uh, China, Korea and Japan coming to compete. First day of players at Parliament House, the Great Hall. Tony Abbott is going to take on their best. <laughs> and then we move down to ride ELS Hall. Mate, it is a great idea, a great program. It's all about getting kids involved. And if you want to get your kids involved in this oh, STARS program, just go to the Today Show website. All the information is there. And don't forget to join me tomorrow morning. I'll be with the Weekend Today team as we're in Brisbane for the telethon. Mate, you've still got it, I've got to say. Thank you very much for joining us. Carl... <laughs> Yes, come on, hit it. Lisa. Do you want to go on? the technique of this guy. <laughs> I tell Thank you, you what, Stevie. Stevie. Stevie totally holding his own there against John Alexander. One of the greats. He hits a beautiful flat ball, John Alexander. Ooh. Doesn't look like Canberra's ball. taken anything off the, um, off the old hit. If anything, it's put it on. <laughs> Say that. Just joking, J.A. <laughs> All right, well, up next...